Hello and welcome to In My Element. In this video we'll be taking a look at the biology topic breathing and respiration. So if you look at this little video um, it's a simulation of the lungs within the skeleton and the movement of those lungs and the diaphragm as we're breathing. So you've got to think about what happens when we breathe, what moves. And we can also represent this with the bell jar model. So this is a glass jar with um, tubings, balloons on, and then like a rubber sheet at the bottom. So this image here represents what you would see if you were breathing in and the balloons are inflated and the diaphragm, the rubber sheet has moved down in this model. And then when you breathe out, the rubber sheet has gone back up, dome-like, and the balloons have deflated, so the lungs have a lower volume. Okay, so what takes place? What actually happens when you breathe in? So, also known as when we inhale, what happens is the following. The diaphragm moves down. The intercostal muscles that are found in between the ribs contract. The contraction of those muscles means that the ribs move up and out. And that means that the volume of the chest increases. So because the volume of the chest increases, the pressure in the chest decreases, and that means that the air rushes in. So we can get those air, that air into those lungs. Okay, so that's inhalation. Right, and when we breathe out, when we exhale, the following happens. So the diaphragm will remove refer. The diaphragm will return to its original position, so it'll be slightly domed up, and the intercostal muscles will relax. That means that the rib, rib that means that the ribs will move down and in, and so the volume of the chest will decrease, which means the pressure in the chest increases, and as a result, that forces the air to rush out. So that is when we exhale, that's the process of exhalation. Thank <laughs> you.